Welcome back, guys. It's Chris and Deb, and we have a DiGiorno pizza. I'm excited. So this is a fully yeah. stuffed crust. That's our Italian, <laughs> our Italian what? accent. No, it wasn't. I was just being silly. Um, and we got the double pepperoni. Um, now at, we got this at Walmart, and it was nine seventy eight, I think. I'm gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I've never been a fan of DiGiorno. For one, he likes the cheap dollar. For, for one, Latinos. they're very expensive. For two, it's all crust, not a lot of toppings. Yeah. So, I'm not really excited about this, um, but we have to give it a try, you know, for you people. Is it too hot to lift? Because I kind of want to get shit I do know. Okay. But it's the, what is so it, the ultimate normal, pepperoni? Um, double pepperoni. Double. So, it's got regular pepperoni, and then it's got the little bitty pepperoni squares. And Diced pepperoni, kind of. Yeah, and then it's supposed to have stuffed. Right, so not just the crust is, or the edges are stuffed but let me see if y'all can see this yes i'm licking the pizza cutter the entire and it's kind of hot so i'm gonna put it down here's the top you want to see the top and that's half of it chris already cut the other part we're letting it sit <laughs> let it rest <laughs> it's it'll be hot but like i said never really been a fan of the journals i know they got a bunch of different options they've got like croissant crust and pretzel crust yeah. and thin crust anything they can think of but I'm a, I'm a French bread person. I like the French bread pizzas. Are you going in? I think I am. I'm going to be there. Do you want the middle so you don't get as much crust since that was your complaint? No, I, I, I just, I, this is easier to hold. But okay. Let me see if this is hot lava or not. Yeah, before I burn myself. Is it doable? Give it another minute. <laughs> okay, but give us your reaction. My reaction, First bite. First my bite. reaction is I would not know at all that it was stuffed. Okay, so and, and that's kind of where I was coming from. So, did you just transfer the cheese that you would normally put on top to the middle? Is it that much cheesier? What? I mean, I would expect to be able to taste that layer of cheese between the crusts. He's right. That's hot. I mean, the sauce is pretty good. The cheese on top, the pepperoni. I mean, it's so it's a gimmick. It, it's it's decent. Failed gimmick. But I mean, just looking at the cross section. Mm -hmm. From, from where I cut, you would think you'd see a lot of cheese oozing out. Yeah, it's not oozing. And I don't really see any cheese in there at all. Oh, I see the cheese. It's just not oozing cheese. So, yes, it's a gimmick. You can kind of. But, I mean, let's be honest. This is a $10 pizza. <laughs> yeah. For $10, I'm going to Papa Murphy. If, if, if I'm cooking it myself, yeah. for $10, I'm going to Papa Murphy's. Heck, Little Caesars, you can get one for like, what, seven or eight? Mm -hmm. delivered? I mean, you're going to pay delivery. You're not but. getting it delivered for seven or eight. Well, I know, but. They have a $20 minimum to deliver. So. Well, when do we ever just get one pizza? <laughs> she loves to argue about. We're talking about if I'm going to cook one myself for $10, it's going to be Papa Murphy's. I was just and she's to going to Little Caesars. I was just trying to make a point. And, and then. No pricing. Pricing is irrelevant. What? Irrelevant. <laughs> he likes that word. He tells me I tell him irrelevant information all the time. Or asks irrelevant questions. questions. Yeah. I mean, I think this is good. Um, it's dinner tonight. I'm going to eat it. I think it's... Would I buy it again? Absolutely not. It's definitely a gimmick. There's nothing really special about this pizza. I've never had a DiGiorno's that I would buy again. Not once. I mean, it's just $10. That's a lot for a frozen pizza. Mm -hmm. That's just pepperoni. It's not even a three meat. <laughs> yeah, but you're getting diced pepperoni and slices. I'm trying to make this convincing and it's just not. So, unless you're a huge DiGiorno fan, skip it. Right? I'm with people that love DiGiorno's. Really? Who? My mom and dad, that's all they used to buy. Huh. Probably still do. Give me a tombstone, a red baron, or my little Totino's, mm -hmm. and I'm good. I'm not gonna have the box. I mean, their gimmick used to be, you know, self rising crust, so it was yeah. more like a delivery pizza. Remember the slogan, it's not delivery to Giorno? Yeah. Doesn't matter. So it's not good. So for this one, a serving size is one sixth of the pizza. 
So they're saying you can cut this into six pieces, which I think that's about right, right? Or did you do? Yeah. Oh, I can cut it yeah, into six pieces. Good. Yeah. So, um, 370 calories each for each piece. Yep, it's a gimmick, guys, and we fell for it. But we fell for it for, for you. your benefit. So we're suffering through this picture <laughs> for you. Can you tell how much he's suffering? All for you. Anything what, else, babe? What's your favorite <laughs> frozen pizza? I really want to know. It might be something I've never tried. Are you not going to eat? So what is your favorite type? I mean, because there's not like a, there's not really a whole lot of thin crust frozen pizzas out there, right? Most of them are going to be like a... Um, I mean, I can't no. tell you the last time we bought frozen pizza. Tombstone and Red Baron, both. Okay. Thin crust. Um, yeah, I'm getting my frozen pizza education here. Paul Newman. Has some good frozen crust. California Pizza Kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Has some good thin crust. Okay. Um, mm. how, much, how much are the other pizzas? The California Pizza Kitchen? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I bought one. But they used to have one. one. They used to have one. They probably still do. They used to buy all the time. It was their, um, I think it was called their Italian. But it was pepperoni, salami. Maybe it's two, three different types of salami. Oh, wow. But it was really, really good. But I can't remember how much. Now, the ounces are different because these are um, a crispy thin crust, but they're like seven forty eight. They have a cauliflower crust, which I know we're not gonna buy. That's eight sixty two. But but all of theirs look like they're all cheaper than the DiGiorno that we got tonight. And all DiGiornos are this expensive. Yeah. So. So we don't recommend that you get this unless you're a huge DiGiorno frozen pizza fan. Right. And if you are, I want to know why. <laughs> what is it? What is it about it that you love? Um, and answer Chris's question in the comments. What's your favorite? Oh, you know what else is really good? It's not a frozen pizza. But like if you go to Walmart or Kroger in their deli oh, yeah. section, they've got those pre-made pizzas. Mm -hmm. those, those, are pretty are, good. those are really good too. Yeah. And priced pretty well. Yeah. It's been a while since I've had one of those too. So I would definitely go the Papa Murphy route before I went this route again, for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Oh yeah. All right guys, we will let you go have your own dinner or whatever else you're doing right now. Um, please like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.